I am Sammy D behind Vintage Boss Babes and I am live here in Baltimore, Maryland. I never know how I'm going to appear on camera. <laughs> My first go live. So I think I like this angle. I might be moving a little bit um, as we go through the evening, but I'm going to wait and see that everything's okay. Okay, it says you're live. Please check your stream on YouTube and Facebook Live. Okay, assuming everything's okay there, I will be streaming to two locations, uh, Facebook, hello, my Facebook family. Um, if you're on Facebook, you will have to join by using the QR code in the upper right-hand corner because you actually can't comment on Facebook and have me see it, which is unfortunate because my last live, all these people were commenting and I had no idea and they were like, Sammy, Sammy, and I, I didn't know that they were commenting. So I see that people are jumping in. Hello, Wilda! And Linda Fonti, I just butchered your last name. I'm so sorry. I tried. Thank you for being here. I think you're, I think, I think we're friends on Facebook. I have a feeling. Um, Miss Vashby, hello. The problem with these names is I can't memorize everyone's like whatnot name compared to their actual name. So let me know if I know you in the comments because I love chatting on whatnot um, in any of my lives because I just feel like it's a big social cash up um, all at the same time. Thank you so much, Wilda. This is actually for sale tonight. This is a coos two piece. It's maybe even technically a three piece because I have the sash. Um, it is silk. It fits up to a 30 waist and it is just very, very, very special. Um, coos, um, I'm going to, I think it's Van Den Acre. Ocker, probably not pronouncing that correctly, um, but he was the designer of the Cosby sweaters. Um, so that is his claim to fame, or at least what people remember him most for. He was an incredible designer. Um, hello, Quiddity. Very 70s Pointer Sisters. I'm all about it. I'm all about the Pointer Sisters. Um, name a Pointer Sisters song for me. I can't think of one of the, off the top of my head, which is horrible because I know the, the Pointer Sisters. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of a song. This is horrible. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wait for more babes to come in. Um, jump for my love. Yes. Jump for my love. It was, that was part of, um, love. Actually, that was the scene when I'm forgetting the actor's name, but he was like all excited because he was in love and then he was, he was dancing. Remember? I remember that. Okay. I'm making my tripod move as I dance. McKenna, I saw that you had joined. This is so funny. Actually, I'm going to tag my friend, Jen, who said that she would, um, let's see, that she would uh, invite some people. If you guys are here, this is still my, um, I, I, would still I would still consider myself a newbie here and whatnot. I've been a live seller since 2020, um, but whatnot is a completely di different territory. I'm having a blast. I love the giveaways. I have some giveaways for you guys tonight. Um, I love that we can, you know, kind of um, bookmark, not kind of, but we can bookmark each other's shows, that we can move audiences, that we can tag each other. I mean, this is just so awesome. So it's my second show, so there might be a few hiccups, but what we have in store tonight are $5 auctions, $10 auctions, $15 auctions, and then a ton of buy it nows that are all set on best offer. Okay, all of my auctions are jewelry plus a couple of here or there clothing pieces. And then all of my uh, buy it nows are incredible vintage pieces. Okay, like this Yves Saint Laurent garment bag. Okay, gotta have it. Um, a 1940s dress that actually fits me. Oh my God. Uh, this thing has big light buttons. Can't wait to show it to you. Um, as well as a ton of other authentic, true vintage pieces. I do dabble in modern and designer. Um, so I wouldn't say that I'm like a 100% pure vintage reseller. I just love clothes and fashion. Um, I previously lived in New York City. And so I go back to New York. I'll be back uh, next weekend and then for a whole week, the first week of February. And I source. I source in New York. Um, I do that for a variety of reasons. But I think the most, I don't know, I guess the most valid one is I just feel like there's just the best stuff there. Like I, I find incredible designer labels. There's vintage stores like overflowing with vintage. Um, I say vintage, but like secondhand stores. Um, and then of course it's just such a place to be for like clothes that are 
in abundance in one place. I don't feel like I have to treasure hunt. Like I just feel like there's so much there. So a lot of people now are asking me like, well, why, why are you going back, back to New York to shop? Like, can't you shop in Baltimore? And I'm like, I'm sure I can. Okay. But like, I'm a creature of habit. But what I also do is I used to buy sell trade stores in New York. And so by selling my items for trade, and these are items that like I might get at the bins or um, I actually work with resale clients. They send me a ton, of, a ton of stuff that I can't sell. So I'll sell it to the buy, sell trade stores, get credit, and then buy dope things with credit. But I can pass that savings on to you guys. So I'm a move it reseller. Um, I'm not getting pallets. I'm not going to estate sales and just like, ugh. But I am still a move it reseller. Now I'm opening a space in Baltimore on February 1st. It will not be open to the public for some time, um, but that's going to be more of a studio space where I'll be able to display things and photograph things and film things and then hopefully have some special events for people of the public um, to come shop with me. So that's the next level of everything. Um, but I love live selling. I love giving you guys steals and deals, connecting with you, um, freebies, all the things. Please follow me on Instagram, Vintage Boss Babes. And I have a buy sell community on Facebook called Vintage and Lux Boss Babes. But without further ado, you guys are here to shop. Take a look at what is available in the marketplace. We're going to start with auctions and I'm pretty speedy with those auctions. I do 30 seconds, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. If no one buys it, I turn it on again, okay? Um, you guys can always make special requests, but I am going to begin with our auctions. And then in about 25 minutes, I will do giveaways, okay? So we've got Debbie, who's a boss babe in my community. Jen joined us. We have Melissa, guys, go follow Cameo Style uh, Feed. She was the last person to join my live. Uh, she is incredible. She has an amazing uh, storefront in Chicago. You have to visit. I need to visit, in fact. Um, Fluent Vintage, hello. Rumorless Threads shared my live stream. Thank you so much. If you guys think that someone will like this tonight, hi, McKenna. Um, I would love for you to tag them. So appreciate it. Thank you for being here, Melissa. No, no, no. Your time is precious. So thank you for being here. Okay. Okay. Jen, rumorless threads. Jen, what's your last name? I know a lot of Jens. I suck. I know. Like, I'm just, I'm one of those people, like, I, I, I know so many people, but then like, I'll like forget people and it's not personal. It is never personal. It's just my brain. Um, thank you for sharing, Melissa, but I love your name, rumorless threads. Um, eight no time for gossip. Okay. We're here to sell and to, uh, serve style. All right. So we are going to get started here. Um, we have 12 live viewers. I know we'll, we'll have a ton of people that come in and out. Hi bubbles. Hi, Bowery Darling. We got all these people here. This is so awesome. So I think what I can do is I can just bring an auction. Um, it's been a minute since I've done this. I can bring an auction to pin, right? So that we can get started. All right. So we're going to start with auctions. Normally I like to do fives and then tens and then fifteens, but like I'm not that organized tonight, guys. So we're just going to go all over the place. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have everything set so that if you bid in the last 15 seconds, um, it gives you another 15 seconds to bid. So you're all good there. I'm not doing any, like, I think it's called like final death bidding, not doing that yet. Um, and then if you guys are interested in the buy now items and you don't need more information, you are welcome to make me an offer behind the scenes and jump. Just let me know in the comments because I have to accept the offers on the live. Didn't know that. Thankfully I did last time. I had someone supporting me. Um, so just let me know if you sent me an offer or if you really, really, really want to see something so that you can send me an offer and then jump because it's Friday night. You might have somewhere to be or maybe a movie to watch or your bet. I don't know. So a lot of people um, that are new, thank you so much for being here. Um, I like to get us started by asking you guys if you are ready to shop. So let me know in the comments, drop an emoji, say ready, ready to shop. Let's go. Let me know. I want to see three people. Okay. We have two. I want to see one more person comment that they are ready. I want to make sure you guys are awake. Ah, yes. I got a fist from Wilda. <laughs> Yes, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the item and start the auction. It will be laser. 
Okay. Um, I believe this is set on 30 seconds or I get to set it on 30 seconds. All right. So we're going to start with a Betsy Johnson as is watch. All right. This one needs a battery. Okay. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Start auction, 30 seconds. Okay, so this one is a starting bid of $15. I love it because there's an artist that this reminds me of, and I'm like blanking on that artist's name, but you guys know from the 80s. I know you guys know. It is branded Betsy Johnson. This is a plastic um, wristwatch, all right? So that strap is plastic. It's also branded Betsy Johnson on the hardware. And we still have the Betsy Johnson sort of like watch information. So I'm guessing that this one is, this watch is anywhere from 10 to 15 years old. Um, I did run some comps on eBay. Um, did I start the auction yet? I think I did. I'm going to run it one more time. Um, I did run some comps on eBay and these are selling for about $45 um, in all different designs. I haven't seen the female face one though. All right. So this one is definitely in my eyes, a very special watch, but of course you're going to have to replace that battery because it is old. Okay. So we've got seven seconds left on the clock. I can always bring these back. We're just going to move it and groove it. It is like, it is like Marilyn Monroe. Thank you so much. Okay. I saw that that auction actually went through. So we are going to keep it moving. Okay. We, we do not get bored on my lives. So we're going to do a quickie $5 auction. I'm excited for this one. I actually have so many boxes of jewelry. So bear with me here. I have to find, I just found it. God, this reminds me of the mall so much. Okay, are you guys ready? This is going to be a 30 second auction for this bracelet. We're gonna talk about it. Starting bid $5, okay. So I don't know, this thing, it's just a nice, you just throw it on, you layer. It's got the faux gemstones. It's silver. It's probably going to fit most wrists, but I'm still going to show it on mine. All righty. This is just a nice little layering piece. It's not vintage. It is fashion, probably anywhere from 15 to 20 years old from the mall. I remember these boxes. I remember. Okay. So we don't have any bids on that. If you guys want me to rerun it, let me know. Constance, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Okay, anyone with the first name or even a last name, honestly, starting with the letter E, this is for you. This is dedicated to you, even if you don't buy it, all right? We've got Anne Klein 2 E. This is a brooch. And I will take it out to show you guys the back. I'm going to start this auction. The letter E. I feel like I'm doing a Sesame Street presentation right now, okay? Everyone, the letter E stands for everything. Elizabeth, Emma, Eileen. What are some other E first names? Um, uh, gosh, I can't think when I'm on the spot. Erin. Um, I can't think of anything else, but the letter E. It's a wonderful letter, okay? <laughs> So this is a brooch and Klein too. We got to love it. We've got, we have to love a brand that has the audacity to have a number two, right? It's not the number one. It's the number two. I love that about Anne Klein. I don't know if there was a number three ever. Um, but again, guys, this is the letter E pin that's still up for grabs. Let's jump into some more super awesome jewelry. Um, I'm going to bring up a piece that I really like. I just have to find it. <clears throat> okay. This is an unmarked necklace. And by marked, I mean that there's at least to my little naked eye, um, there is no label. So there's no hallmark essentially. So hallmark meaning like it says the brand name, but it is just, it's a solid piece, right? This is just something you can wear Every day, all day, we're going to start that auction so that I'm not rambling too much. I can be a chatty Cathy. Um, we've got some nice detail here. It is well made. It's not a cheapy. Um, solid chain. And then we have a lobster clasp, which means that this one is probably more modern. 
and I'm going to put it on so you guys can see how that fits. We've got six seconds remaining. 16 viewers. Hi, guys. Thanks for being here. Let me know your first names in the comments. If I haven't met you, just say, hi, I am. So like, hi, my name is, I'm Sammy. Um, <laughs> you can let me know in the comments. All right, guys, this one is still available. And we are moving and grooving. This is a little set, a little, little, little set. Okay. Another one of those like mall collection pieces, probably from like 15, 20 years ago. Um, you can tell, you can tell that it's like around 2000 or close to two to 2000 by the SKU sticker or the uh, skew sticker, I guess. Um, but this has three sets of earrings and a necklace. I'm not taking it out. If you guys really want me to, please let me know. Um, I can actually take it out and show you the length. But here is, I know that's hard to tell. It is a light blue stone around a darker blue stone. And we have matching earrings and then gold studs. And that is the same color um, stone as that stone right there. It's really nice and delicate. Hi, Deborah. I recognize you. And we've got two seconds on the clock still available. Oh, you guys are a tough crowd tonight. We're going to keep it moving. And of course, keep uh, checking out the marketplace. Let me know if there's something you would like to see first. So here is an item that is marked. And this is a Sarah Coventry ring. And this does have the Sarah Coventry marking. Uh, where did I put it? Oopsie. I put it in one of my boxes. I put it in one of my boxes. I'll find it in a second. Um, it's not there. It must be in here somewhere. Nope. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Nope, that's the necklace. Necklace. Okay, found it. Some goodies in this box. Okay. So she is not perfect. All right. Hello. Welcome. Welcome new, new viewers. Okay. She's not perfect. She has some fading. So some of this gold has become silver. It is difficult to see on camera what this is, but imagine a flower with some berries surrounding it. Okay. I'm actually going to take off my spoon ring, which is not for sale unless you guys really want it. And I will put it on my finger and then I will show you guys the Sarah Coventry marking and then we're gonna start the auction. Okay, Ooh. of course I dropped it. She's okay. She's a slippery one. Uh, so it's actually marked Sarah Cove. You guys see that? I'm sure like a piece of black paper would really, really help with the contrast, but there it is, okay? So we are going to start this auction. I love that you guys are chatting in the comments, okay? Sarah Coventry for $10, great collectible ring. So actually, you know what? I think it's grapes. Now that I'm looking at it from this angle, these are the grapes and those are the grape leaves. So wear some grapes on your ring. Melissa got it too. Melissa got it. Here, here it is on my middle finger. Now, sizing a ring without actually having those tools I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm about a size seven. This is a little bit bigger. So I, I'm guessing it's about a size eight. Okay. Love that you guys are chatting with each other. Okay. So that, uh, that auction just ran through on to the next one. We will keep it moving with our rings. I have some good rings for you guys tonight. This one is sterling silver. I will do my best to show you the marking for, um, for authentication. And to my knowledge, based on my little eye, it is a opal. This is all based on my eye. That's why this is a $10 starting auction, okay? Um, so the sterling marking, it's very subtle. It is right here. You guys probably can't see it. You're going to have to trust me on that. But you can see that this is a opal. So this is an incredible deal, um, especially for someone whose birthstone is an opal. This appears to be about a size seven. The setting is immaculate. I don't know if that's the right word to describe a setting, but I'm using it. So we will start. Oh, October is opal. Thank you, Mel. 
Thank you, Mel. One, two, one, two, one, two. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that is a massive opal. That's like, I need y'all to know that I'm wearing an opal. Opal. You know what I mean? Um, and that is the inside so you guys can see how nice that is set. Hello, Mizzy Mai. Put it on my left, left hand for you. Okay, we got three seconds. And we have one more ring. One more ring. And it is a really nice basic one. I would actually even consider this one for a dude. Thank you, McKenna. Um, and it is a, for me, it is a thumb gold ring. It has no markings. It has no 14 karat. It has no hallmarks. But it does have a really great linear, um, how do I say this, almost surface. And by linear, I mean that there are lines that are on this ring. So it fits my ring finger great, maybe even my uh, middle finger. Or if you consider yourself to be about a size nine ring, you can wear it elsewhere. But I'm going to suggest it as a thumb ring for a girl, a guy, a human. It does not matter. We all have hands and that's what matters. Okay. So this one is a starting bid of $10. Please pardon this. I cut myself with scissors. Don't ask. That's what I did. My box cutter could not be found. So I used scissors to open boxes and this is what happens. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Denise is like, ouch, question mark. I know it looks, it looks worse than the situation. Okay, so gold thumb ring still available. Guys, please go follow um, La Lady Z Vintage. Uh, she's incredible, so kind. Um, I appreciate you. Let's do some watches. Watches are very in right now, okay? They're so in. Um, my last watch, as in like fashion watch, was a Roxy Quicksilver. And I thought it was like dope shit, all right? This thing was so cool. When you put a comment in and use a question mark, it shows it yellow. Yes, yes. I did learn that in my last live sale. It's so cool, I love it. It's very smart. Um, anyway, my last watch was a Roxy, okay? Let me know in the comments if you guys are still wearing watches. I'm not wearing mine at this very moment, but I do wear a Garmin sports watch, but the bracelet watches have made a comeback. Okay. So we have another as is this one is a Timex and I will bring it to stage starting auction of $10 guys, $10, nice, um, expandable, uh, wristband, a delightful design along this wristband and this one, and I will do my best to also show you guys, um, that Timex branding. It's, it's a small watch head. Um, very, very small. If you guys look that says Timex. So again, this one's going to need a new watch. Okay. She's old, but she could make a wonderful accessory on your wrist or perhaps for resale. Okay. I know that these are selling, it depends on the storefront, but anywhere from about 88 to 128, it just really depends on the audience. Um, I'm seeing people wear multiple watches again, like swatch style, which is really, really fun. Cause you just have five different watch heads on and it's like, well, this one is 30 seconds ahead. So I guess maybe, <laughs> um, oh, you have watches. You collect watches, Wilda. I love that. I love that so much. Okay. So she is still available. We have another watch. We have another watch. And I don't know how to say this one. Maybe you guys can help me. Um, I did a quick little eBay comp. Uh, Dion Tavis? Somebody help me. Dion Tavis? Now, these will sell um, with, with the batteries intact for 40 to 50 on average. And that's when they sell. You know, not, not everything will sell. Okay. Thank you guys for the tags. Keep it coming. You know, I'm here to grow my following. So the more people that join this live and at least follow me, the better. Um, so it also, this one has the date. Now today's not the 14th. So I would have to adjust this. 
And this one is Swiss made. Again, I know that is very difficult to read on camera, but this does say Swiss made. It also is a stretchy, so it is a one size fits all. I would say this is technically a man's watch, and I'm just saying that. I don't know for sure, but who cares? I think it looks great on either gender, so this could be a gift for someone else in your life if you're um, someone of the female gender, buying for the male gender, blah, blah, blah. And it is a great silver. So again, this one you'll need to take to your friendly um, watch fixer and have them check out the battery for you. But this is a starting bid of $10. I have come across a lot of watches in my resale career. Um, I work with someone who actually liquidates homes. And so she sends me some of the most random stuff and I've come across so many watches. Um, new seller I know from elsewhere. Yes. You're talking about me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That time is almost up. Let me know if you guys want me to have a one minute timer. Um, I like to keep it moving, but maybe you need a little bit more time to do what you have to do on the other end. Okay. So we have some Avon. We have some Avon. Oh, it's fine. Denise, I'm not going to take that personal. Don't even worry about it. I'm new. I'm new, new. All right. We have some Avon. And what's great about the two, so I have two Avons, guys. What's great about it is that you're going to get, I'm dropping a lot of things tonight. You're going to get the boxes. How fun. How fun. So many of us know Avon um, as being the beauty company that also, <laughs> that also sold jewelry and gave jewelry away with its beauty products. Um, and so most of our parents or grandparents have some sort of Avon, or maybe we even remember it from our childhoods. Um, and some of this jewelry is so freaking dope. All right. K Marie's here. Cam Cam's here. I like the name. I like the name a lot. Guys, go follow K Marie. She's my girl. Okay. So K Marie, we are doing some auctions. Um, and we've done quite a number. So if there's anything that you want me to do, let me know. All right. So this one, we're, we're going to pin it and then talk about it and then run the auction. Here we go. Another starting bid of $10. Okay. I love this one. This is actually quite the V-Day appropriate necklace. Okay. Obviously faux pearls. We have a toggle, um, Clasp. I'm sorry, this is a barrel clasp, a barrel clasp. And the only thing I want to point out about this is that it's not marked Avon. I know that's going to matter for some people. My other one is marked Avon. This one is not. So we're going to start the auction. 30 seconds. Jump on this for $10. I will show you guys that this one is close to the neck. Love the hearts, Denise. Thank you. There we go. Close to the neck. $10 starting auction. Grab it while it's hot. Valentine's Day. I love me. I love myself. Necklace. Yeah. It is coming up. It's crazy. And so is, um, so is my birthday in March. Although it's like, two, it's like two months away, but I start, you know, getting excited like two months before. Um, I'm born on March 16th. So St. Patty's Day always overshadows my birthday and everyone's always drunk around my birthday. People are just, just wasted. So <laughs> I like, I, I like to connect myself to helping people to have a good time. Um, all right guys. So this Avon is still available. We will do the other Avon. Thank you guys for being here. If you are interested in any of my giveaways, um, I suggest that you start following me if you don't follow me already, because all of my giveaways are for people that follow me, um, which I love that about whatnot. Um, and I'm so happy to have you here in my community. Okay. So this one, <laughs> fashion jewelry by Avon sculptured pendant necklace. Love it. Sculptured in that like super script handwriting. This one is pretty dope. This one has a Avon um, signature on it or hallmark on it. I'm going to point that out to you guys. That is right there. Again, hard to see, but trust me, it's there. I want to say when I first looked at it, I was like, is it a butterfly? It's actually a flower. 
but it kind of, if you angle it, looks like a butterfly. Am I, am I right? Am I right? I mean, it's a flower, but it's, it's also a butterfly. This is a more modern Avon. I can just tell because of the hang tag. So there is our Avon hang, hang tag. Um, I can also tell by the chain. I want to say this is a little 90s gem. Sometimes it's like almost impossible until you have the catalog. I'm going to put this one on. We're going to run this auction. 30 seconds, $10 starting bid. This this would fit you now, Kay Marie. This is a 1940s. Look at her. I'm going to show her to you guys soon. She's so old and she's in such good condition. Um, I think I'm literally like a month and a day older than you or something. That's hilarious. Are you a February birthday? Mel, I see it. <laughs> Gina's here. Oh my, holy crap. You're the 15th. Oh my God. So wait, we like need to figure something out for that. I can't, I can't take this necklace off. I might just wear this necklace the whole live. So if you guys, <laughs> if you see it and you want it, let me know. I will rerun any auctions. Hi, Gina. Hi, Carrie. I'm so happy to um, have more babes coming in. So we will get to the 40s dress um, with complete measurements, which I just realized, shoot. Yeah, my, my measuring tape is over there. Um, it does just barely fit me. Um, so she's about a 4'6". But I'm running through some auctions right now. And there's a ton of auctions that are still available. So just shout me a holler if you're interested. Um, we are going to do these cameo style earrings. I'm obsessed. I saw these for the first time today. And I feel like there's something more than I'm making them out to be. But whatever, that could just be in my head. Look at these. They are like four dimensional. Look at this. It looks like a cupcake. It, you know, You know how like, not even a cupcake, a cake. And they, you know, put those flowers on with the frosting. It looks like frosting. Guys, these are earrings. Now, I'm calling them cameos. No, they're not cameos, but they're in the shape of cameos. I guess people who sell jewelry drop things a lot because they're things Things are so small. So these are for pierced ears. Oh, they're so cute. They're so, they're just so romantic. We are going to start the auction. And this is a $10 starting bid. 30 seconds, no markings on these, but I can tell that they are well-made. So these are well-made, they're a little heavier. They're not super heavy, right? They're not so heavy that they'll be annoying on your ears. And these are incredible. Okay, so that clock is ticking, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, we'll do some more earrings. Do some more earrings, hi Debbie. So, Everyone needs a pair of gold earrings. I'm sure many of us have gold earrings, but do you have dewdrop drop gold, gold earrings is the question. Actually, I think I call these droplet, droplet earrings. Um, these look like they, they appear like they were handmade. I'm going to say probably not. They're too light for that, but they look really nice. Like if you can tell, yeah, you guys can tell there. Actually, I'm giving you guys my reflection. These are just a starting bid of $10. Again, I'm gonna start this, this uh, auction pretty quickly. There's not too much more to say about these. They're just a great little bonus addition to your earring collection. And they're that style of earring that I feel like you're just gonna wear all the time. Like this spoon ring, when this came into my possession, I was like, okay. And like, now I wear it with everything. It just goes with everything. It's just the spoon ring, you know? Tell me in the comments if you guys have had or have a spoon ring. I've had other spoon rings that I lost along the way. But this one is hopefully here to stay. Okay. I don't think you guys are feeling the jewelry. I'm going to keep going, however. I'm going to keep going. Okay, we went through that one. Let's see. Did I do this one yet? Um, I do have a freebie piece of jewelry. I think I have a couple freebie pieces of jewelry. Let's do this necklace. 
and then we will move on to some clothing and we will come back we will come back back to the jewelry i'm reading the room i'm reading the room guys all right so this is our last piece of jewelry but now i feel like i need one in my life we all need a spoon ring in our lives especially because i feel like for some reason i feel like there was like an art class in the 70s can someone confirm this for me that like taught people how to make spoon rings and there was just a trend of people going home and going into their great grandparents china and taking on a spoon and making a ring with it like I, this is it's just a theory i have <laughs> because these spoon rings don't have brands like they look homemade you know like anyway i digress here is our last piece of jewelry before we head into some clothing and thank you guys again for being here. So this one, is this the right one? Yes, this is sterling silver. Again, I wish that I could really show you guys with a um, microscope that it says sterling, but I'm going to do the best of my ability to show you that right here, you guys can make out some font that does say sterling. This is a sterling silver piece it has a wonderful crystal in the center designed to look like a flower and this one is going to be close to the, to the neckline a nice delicate piece not a maximalist piece but something that you can integrate into pretty much every outfit okay so this one is a starting auction of ten dollars for sterling silver guys oh and we have a bitter thank you sag are you sagittarius because i love sagittarians okay thank you you are my first bid of the evening my second live sale here on whatnot i appreciate you and i think you're about to get this for ten dollars yes you are when's your birthday so most of my best girlfriends are sag i just i love you I love you so much. <laughs> I want a fancy men's jacket, but none are small enough. Also want to have cool sleeves to roll. Oh my God. Hey Marie. Um, so here's the thing. I sold a lot of the small ones. So all I have right now are like really big ones, but I might have some more in storage, but they're not like name, name brand. Um, they're like Tommy Hilfiger and Michael Kors. So if you're interested, let me know. I do have a Ralph, I have a Ralph Lauren, you know, I'll bring it out and like add it. I was going to sell it, um, somewhere else. So Sag, I just took all the attention off from you. This is your new necklace. I'm going to send it to you in the box. Oh my God. Look at the box. Can we talk about it? Congratulations. Thank you for being my first purchase of the night. I like to put all of my souls to the side. And we're talking about cool men's blazers, which are a thing right now, guys. They're a thing. I have one in my bag that's a Ralph Lauren that I think Kamari will like, so hold on. I have two more to show you guys tonight, but they're a little bit bigger. Um, but this one, this one still might be a little big, but it is a new with tags. Ralph Lauren. This one was originally 325. So this looks to be about 2005 to 2010 era. Right? If you're interested in this, K Maria, I will put it into the live. Let me get a hanger here. Okay, guys, we're going to take a breather. Yeah. Yeah. December 8th, great birthday. I feel like I just. I'm not hitting the mark with my lipstick tonight. Like there's, there's something wrong tonight. Um, eyes I am. Oh my God. I love that you said eyes because I just watched for the first time. I'm 20 years too late. Pirates of the Caribbean. I watched the first three with my boyfriend. <laughs> so, all right. I'm seeing if there's any other comments here. Gina's in the house. Gina. Yes. All right. So I'm going to kick us off with some clothing. And since we're talking about men's blazers, we'll start with men's blazers. This is the one, of course, that I didn't add live. <laughs> or I'm sorry, I didn't add before the lives. I'll have to add it live. And the one thing I haven't figured out with uh, whatnot is how to go.
go into my camera roll and add a photo. So I usually just take a photo with my camera as I'm adding it, if that makes sense. So it'll just like photograph something random in the room. Um, oh, he is so hot in that movie. Yeah, he is. Um, so I'm going to put this one on and we're going to talk about it. So why I love the men's blazers look is because you actually don't even have to wear it normal. It can just be like a this moment, right? Um, with the strong shoulders, you can do a lot of different things with what you're choosing to wear below. This one does have stronger shoulders. It's they don't. It's, they're not the strongest shoulders. I'm just gonna roll this up. This one is a pretty good fit on me, K. Marie. I'm gonna say the shoulders might turn you off unless you really want to go all in. But as you can see, I'm wearing this over some layers and it fits pretty good. I think it's fitting me like a size eight. Um, but I know that you are a lot tinier than me. So in terms of height and also now waist. <laughs> so if you want me to add this, I would be happy to, or we could talk after the live. What is this little book? A signature of enduring style. This Lauren by Ralph Lauren clothing has been designed from the finest selection of fabrics and trimmings <laughs> for the highest standard of style. Um, one of my dreams is to somehow get into the Ralph Lauren. So this is from the Macy's men's store back in the day, but it's to somehow get into the Ralph Lauren archives because those archives have to be just full of historic vintage and textiles. I think I want it price. <laughs> but, uh, what, what if I price the other ones? I'm going to be fair. Um, what did I price the other ones? And you guys definitely, oh, I see someone is interested in that bangle bracelet. Let me know in the comments if you guys really want me to show something because I don't want to hold anyone up. Um, Wait, did I not bring in the other? Oh, I don't think I did. No, I should have. I brought in the Woolrich. I mean, I'm sorry, the Pendleton. Hmm. Hold on one second. I have a feeling I forgot to add some stuff. I'm still learning. Let me see. Yeah, this one. Oh, I had this one at, at auction. 15. Okay. I think for this one, K Marie, I would be totally thrilled with 30. Um, you've seen this? Oh, you've seen it. You've seen the Ralph Lauren archive. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, I'm following you, Liz. <laughs> Follow. Oh my God. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. So as I add this for K Marie, and you guys are probably like, oh my God, this is the worst life seller ever. Um, I was just personalizing this experience. Okay, I'm taking a random photo. I don't know how else to do this. Um, but yes, tell us, tell us about that experience. Is it in New York or is it like outside of New York? Or is it in LA? I'm, I'm, I'm so curious. Um, Ralph Lauren men's blazer. And we are going to do, I'm not putting in all the details, um, but this one is going to be 30 and the weight is a pound. So shipping should be like six bucks. And I just created that. And I just, in case K Marie, you want, you wanted to make sure that you saw it. I just pinned it. And Liz, I think I missed it in New York. It's called the, oh, oh, is it at the, um, wait, cause there's something called the, um, oh, shoot. I haven't been to it. It starts with an A, the Albright library in New York. And I've been wanting to see if I could get an appointment for some random reason. I'm not quite sure what to say. Hi guys, um, I'm a vintage seller and like, I'd love to see your archive. Can I please come? <laughs> but, and that's how I feel like I would say it. Um, but yeah, 
Thank you, K-Marie! Guys, this is going home with K-Marie! Yeah! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I was literally about to ship this one to New York. I sell out a store in New York. And I was about to ship it. I was about to ship it tomorrow because we had snow today. Boom. Out of my life. Um, okay. I don't think Liz um, has expanded. Bring her on as a co-host. Liz, do you want to come on as a co-host and tell us about the experience? Um, your husband retired from Mount Flora. Oh, my God. This is so cool. This is so exciting. That's my only Ralph Lauren piece tonight. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I have some really random stuff tonight. I have a Harley Davidson jacket tonight. Um, but okay, guys, I am going to carry on. <laughs> Liz, if you want to come on as a co-host and introduce yourself. I don't know if you're a seller here, um, but that would be so awesome. I would I would love to do that. Um, thank you. Thank you, Kay Marie. Come on. Thank you. Um, so next up, I am feeling like doing something else that you guys have had some attention on. And that is the 1940s dress. So we're going to talk about it. Okay. So you guys are going to laugh because I'm hysterical. I forgot to bring my measuring tape closer. And by measuring tape, I mean like I am going to do construction measuring tape. I lost my paper one and I have yet to replace it. And um, <laughs> this is how we're gonna do it. So I would love for you guys just to take a look at her, but I am going to bring her closer to camera because the design is absolutely outstanding. Um, and I don't know if you can see it from where you guys are, from, from your vantage point, but it is a little girl chasing butterflies. So this is printed um, right side up and upside down and at an angle. Uh, the material is a material that I would have known many years ago. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, I'm going to guess it's a silk blend with something else or it's a silk rayon blend. It has a very small peplum, if you even want to call it. It's almost like a faux overskirt. I believe the buttons are Bakelite or Lucite. I haven't tested them. Um, but to my eye, that's what they appear to be. And it still has shoulder pads. So shoulder pads actually originate from the 1940s. The 1980s mimicked them and made them much bigger than what they were in the 40s. But that strong shoulder, because the 40s was when um, women were, were going to work because men were in the war. So that strong shoulder emerged in fashion to represent the strength of the woman. Um, and she's probably a midi length on most people. She might be maxi if you're a little bit shorter. She has a side zipper that is metal. And the back is a pretty sleek back. Now, I squeezed into her. <laughs> I am a healthy size six, 29 waist, uh, 36 bust, but I wouldn't like wear her out. So if you guys go through the photos, you'll see how she fits on me, but like I wouldn't wear her in public. She doesn't, she's not quite my size. Um, I bought the 70s JCPenney. Oh my God, did you put it on? Did it fit you? Oh my God, everyone go follow Liz. I would love that. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to have you on. And when is your show tonight? Is it tonight or is it tomorrow? Okay, so I have 85 on her, right? Um, I could probably sell this for like three times the amount to the right customer, but obviously you have to reach the right customer. I also want to point out that it is ever so slightly, there's ever so slightly a small little hole here that can be stitched up quite easily. I want to say that might have been because I had tried her on. Um, so I wouldn't suggest trying to squeeze into this again because it is 80 years old. So let me show you guys the pattern and then I will actually do some action with prints. But is that not amazing? Oh my God. I know you will, Kay Marie. You're not allowed to be shopping. I'm an enabler. <laughs> I'm enabling you. Um, okay, so my mannequin is pretty tiny, 
right? Um, we're gonna do a quick little measure of this waist. I'm pretty confident that it's about a 26 waist, and this is going to be hilarious because I'm bending this like it's a better tape measurer. So it's actually more like a 27 waist, which makes sense because I was actually able to squeeze into it. Um, and these are small boobies on the mannequin. I'm about a C, but we can do like a quick hy hypothetical. Ah, that's actually not going to measure correctly. I need to get a measuring tape again. But again, if I measure her flat for you guys, um, this is no more than a 34 bust. I squeezed into her. Um, shoulder to shoulder, I think that's more helpful. And that is where I had some trouble. And shoulder to shoulder is about a 29, maybe a 30. Now there is a nice little ascot design. I'm sorry, design. Um, ascot um, scarf here that has the design on it. And you guys can play around with that. And then there is a snap button at the top. And we have our two Bakelite buttons. Now, if you feel that you can wear her open, by all means, that's going to give you a little bit more room in the bus. So I have her price to move. She is worth so much more than 85. And I'm not trying to be like pretentious about it. It's just like, look, look at this. It's it's a piece of history as well as the print is insane. I found her in Amsterdam. Um, but to be a wearable piece, you do have to be a smaller figure. And I realize that you're taking a risk here. Um, but again, I was able to squeeze into her. So if and I'm five nine, so if you consider yourself to be more petite than me, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine in this dress. Even if you're teeny tiny, the way that this will hang on you, you'll still just look bomb.com. All right, it's better for something to be a little bit bigger than it is for it to be a little bit tight. So yeah, tinsel skirt, let's do the tinsel skirt. Okay, so we are moving on from this 1940s delight. She is a Wrigley's delight, like the gum. The tinsel skirt is insane. I wanted to sell this over the holiday and I did, I did not get a chance. Um, and this is another one that I do need to measure that waist. Uh, I put 26 in the comments, but I want to measure it live. So really quickly, and I'll bring that one to stage. Yep. That is a 26 waist as a high waist. I always suggest if you're, cause I measure a 29, I can fit a 27 high waist. So if you measure a 28, you'll probably be able to squeeze into this high waist. It'll just be, you know, tight on you. This one has a top layer and I will bring, I will bring this to camera so that you can see it better. And actually that is a horrible angle, but then it also has a slip under it. I would consider this excellent vintage condition because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And here is our design. Sometimes this tinsel sheds. Those of you that have been in the business know you always want to hit your vintage because it might be shedding and you don't know until you get home. I, Hugh has been there. Let me know in the comments. The amount of times I bought something that is shedding and I didn't know. This is a Evan Pecan. Um, it has a union label and it is marked a size four. Guesstimating this one is an 80s or 90s piece. So I will pin this one for you, Kat. Yes, the length. I will do the length in a second. Probably, or is this an auction? Did I, did I do this one as auction? I did do this one as auction. I will run that auction for you once I give you guys the length. And nice to meet you. Please guys, don't be shy, ask me anything. And you don't have to buy it if I answer your questions. Like that's totally fine. Okay, we've got 32 with my um, construction tape measurer. So 32 inches top to bottom. Um, hip is going to be not quite fairly free just because we have a slip under it. Um, 
So what I will do is really quickly measure that hip for you. But if you are fairly proportionate, I'm sure you'll be able to fit it. And this is about, I think this is probably about a 38 hip at its widest point, it looks like about a 38 hip. So I will run that auction, jump on it. Okay. 30 seconds of no one bids. I'll run it again. She's a pretty one. She is absolutely a pretty one. And if you consider yourself to be smaller, you guys, you can wear them like this. So if you can fit the top and then you can belt it. Amazing. Like I love these long maxi skirts for that reason, because you can just transform them into a dress. So we've got, we've got some bids. Oh, that idea of transforming it into a dress just changed everything for you guys. That's so exciting. That is so exciting. Yes. Yes. And I don't think I gave you guys, Kat did get it. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. And I'm assuming your name is Kat, but please correct me. If it's not nice to meet you. So Kat, we are going to put you over here in the sold pile. Yes, you are off the stage on my bed. <laughs> so I've been reselling here um, in Baltimore since I moved from New York City in November. So this is our spare bedroom. Whew, it's been it's, it's been something else. Can't wait to get my space. Um, the robe looking thing. Sa Sada? Sajda. Sajda. I think I'm saying it correctly. Nice to meet you. If I'm saying it incorrectly, let me know. Sajda. Um, Gina's back. Voyage Rosalie. The two green pieces on the right. I love this. Sajda, you are the best. I'm assuming you are petite. Uh, I'm assuming you're like a 2-4. Uh, the two green pieces on the left. Boom shakalaka. Okay, we've got a couple of green pieces here. We have this epic dress, which was from my personal collection. This is actually up to a 30 empire waist. This might be a little bit big on you. Um, in terms of other green pieces, this is another 1940s dress that I, I will bring out, but this is a size two zero. This one is really tiny. And we have a Vera Bradley bag, which is on auction. Uh, we have a trench which I believe I have this one on auction starting at 15. And then what else is green? You might be noticing the coach bag, which I have as a buy it now, which I was going to model for you guys, but I think that's it. Anything else? Green swirly measurements on that bright green one you showed. Voyage Rosalie I sold a fifties piece last live. Um, Technically, this is a 60s piece. And this is a Malcolm Star. I have so many pieces close to the eras, but not actually 50. This is like a 50s lookalike piece, I would say. Very lookalike. But stick around. We are about to do the bright green. And this is... I will measure it for you live. I think I have it in the description. I'm going to pin this one. And I, I'm pretty sure you mean this by, by the green swirly, because that's kind of swirly. Kind of. Um, this one's a buy it now. And I actually retook this for the mannequin, and I did not actually put the photos live. I'm sorry about that. So I did have her on the mannequin. I can put her on the mannequin live if you want to see. So... If I stretch the waist, it's up to a 15. And if I stretch the bust, it's up to a 36 comfortably. The hips are about a 42. This one fits me great. Now I'm 5'9", so it is 55 inches. It's a long dress. It is by a designer that is pretty well known. This dress is out there. So if you can't fit this one, make a note and go look up this label. You'll probably be able to find this style in your size. Emilio Borges. I 
Emilio Borges. I can, I can type that into the comments if you're interested. Again, I have this one as a buy it now. Uh, note to you guys, there's no pockets. I wish there were, but no pockets on this one. Um, it was not handmade, but it does have amazing lace lining for the hem. Um, so I am accepting best offer on her. Pre-bid on heart earrings. Oh my God, the heart earrings. Could I hem it? Yes. So I have seen this style hemmed. So it's pretty easy. Or you could keep the fabric and maybe use it for something else. Maybe like a scarf. But all you would have to do is just have someone, boom, it's just going to be heavier on the bottom. Right? But then if you pass it on, someone can let it go. But I have seen it absolutely at this length. There's this the same print, but like opposite colorways is out there. I think it's like a red base with like a green color. Anyway, but it's great. I mean, look at the neckline. Look at the neckline. You guys can tell I like green. I never used to like green. Green has become like a new color that I appreciate. It does have a long plastic zipper. And in terms of hemming it in general, because of the darting, you might be able to make it a little bit tighter at the bust too. So what that seamstress would do is cut it here and then just re-sew it tighter like this. The waist would be hard. The waist would be hard to hem. I'm not a seamstress. I'm not trained in sewing, but when you get to know clothes, you can kind of figure it out. So um oh my god ashley just tipped me how are you ashley guys go follow ashley she has a am i following you here i don't know if i am um she has an i'm not i'm just i just followed you uh she has a brick and mortar store in a college town in arkansas uh the great state of arkansas that i would like to visit one day um so anyway she is still available um Saja, if you have questions, um, I want to make sure. Can you show the print up close? Yes, I think I did, but I'm going to do it again. And you, you can see the darts for the bust. So again, to make that smaller, they would just undo the stitching there and then fold it in and then sew it shut so that it would go like this. The armpits are a good size, so that wouldn't really cut into the armpit. And then it looks like it's textured, but it's not. It is a flat print. I think that's what's so amazing about this piece is that it looks like it's lifting off of this material, but it's it's flat. It's matte. Ashley, I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not embroidery. It is a flat print. This is a machine washable piece. Um, I would just do it on delicate and hang it to dry a hundred percent um or if you're nervous have it dry cleaned but the thing about dry cleaning is sometimes like they don't do the right things with vintage because vintage was made completely different so um wash it on cold hang dry boom you're good amazing yeah think on it it's in it's in my marketplace and this one, my loves. So thank you guys for making all of your requests. There are heart earrings that were pre-bid on. And I'm blanking on what those heart earrings are. So I'll have to take a look. I have a feeling it's the 14 karat gold ones. Right? It looks like a heart when it's together, but they're separate. But these, these are the 14 karat golds. Um, yeah, so this is a Malcolm star. I'm so sorry. This is horrible. I'm getting better guys. I'm getting better. When I have my space, it'll be, it'll be better. I might even actually just bend this up. You guys can tell now that I'm, I'm in a bedroom. Okay. So let's talk about this one. Um, first let's, let's verify that it is Malcolm star. I found this and she needed so much love. I had her professionally dry cleaned. And I'm going to explain to you what happened. Here is our Malcolm Star label. So there are different designers for Malcolm Star. This designer 
based upon my last research, is not a super famous designer for Malcolm Star. And by fa super famous, I mean, like, you can't fetch hundreds of dollars. Eleanor Simmons. So Malcolm Star was the label, but there were different designers for the label. This is a vintage size eight. That means that it's more like a size two. So a lot of us, um, you know, for example, think like Marilyn Monroe was a size 12. She was actually a size six. She was just a vintage size 12 um, because we didn't have the zero system back then. So this one, to my knowledge, and it has great pockets, which I love, was stored in a cedar chest. So you guys, have you ever walked into like a cedar closet? There were like cedar chests. And I think what happens is it presses against the cedar. Something happens and it absorbs. It happens a lot of times with uh, kimonos. And it absorbed some discoloration. Do you guys see that? And I had it dry cleaned and we like brought this baby back to life, but we couldn't get all of the discoloration out. So this is a piece that honestly, I've been holding on waiting for the best buyer who does not mind the as is condition. You guys can see that. But what I want to point out is that where it, where the marks still remain it blends in so well, like you guys can't even tell, right? It's just, yeah. And this one I've had, um, so I've, I've had it at, at like the, you know, very prestigious Manhattan vintage show, um, at a store in New York, but it definitely is going to take a special person. Um, did I list this one behind the scenes? Shoot. Or did I just put it in my closet and I forgot to list it? I think I forgot to list it. Yeah, I was gonna do this one at extreme, extreme low prices tonight. So I will add this one live or I'll add it after the live and you guys can make an offer. Let's do some measurements really quickly. No, I will bring up the earrings next because we've been like dwelling on this. This one, yep, it's a 26 inch high waist. And the bust, I'm pretty sure, is a 32. Yep, it's actually more like a 33 stretched. So this is good for a size 2, maybe a small size 4. I can't zip it up my back. Um, so I would guesstimate that this is better for like a size or like a height of 5, 6 or shorter. It is 54 inches long. So... There she is. We just talked about her. I don't have her for sale right now if someone is interested, or I will just add her behind the scenes um, so that she is in my marketplace. But that's that's the Malcolm Star. And I forgot to add the gold as well. I forgot. I took all the photos, but I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Are you interested in the, the Malcolm? Oh, my God. K-Maria would fit you now. I think it would fit you. Yeah, I think it would because you fit those jeans. So the heart earrings. <laughs> the heart earrings. Thank you guys for your patience. So again, very, very vintage box, 14 karat gold. Let me show you really quickly what the backs look like. We're talking old school backs. Remember these backs? Originally $80 probably from around the year 2000, which means today they would be $280 because <laughs> of inflation. Um, I'm going to bring these up for a giveaway. We are going to push that button pretty fast. I'm sorry, not giveaway for auction. Um, we are going to start that auction and boom, they are live on auction. Starting bid $10 and people are still going. Here we go. Yes. Too awesome. $15. That's so great. So awesome. I love all these new names. Makes me so happy. Okay. I think that we are still at $15. And I believe Wood and Diane. Wood and Diane. Wood and Diane just won. Nice to meet you, Wood and Diane. 
I'm assuming your name is Diane. Congratulations. You just became the proud winner of 14 karat gold earrings for $15. Oh my God. Moving on to some more gold. This is one that I did not put behind the scenes. I did photograph it on the mannequin. <laughs> it is a gold duster robe. Um, and by robe, I mean, you can wear it as a robe, but honestly, I would wear it out in the public. This one has shoulder pads. This is an easy one for me to try on for you guys so that you can see what it looks like. Again, I've said this a few times, but I am a little bit taller. I'm 5'9", so things hit me a little bit differently. I know, is this not amazing? Oh, I just found something in the pocket. Found a rubber band. So my last live sale, it was on Facebook. I found $2 in the bag. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I found $2. I made money on my live. Um, so this one will be in the marketplace as well. So Kat, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow you so that I can message you when all of these things are live, because I know like this one, I'm probably not going to add this one live because it is a little bit of a higher price. Um, so Kat, let me, let me follow you right now. All right. I just followed you and I said, Kat, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I know. I know. Okay, Marie. Me too. It has such a great shoulder as well. And you can wrap it and it has pockets. And this is one for my personal collection that I just, I just never wore. I don't know why. I love this outfit, but what I have to say is that you do have to make this really tight because it keeps sliding with all of my movement. Or you just have to like stand pretty for it not to move. Um, hi, purple monkey. All right. If you guys want me to list this one live, I will so that you can make me an offer. I just don't have a photo of it. Uh, and so that is my distress. I'm unsure actually even how to take photos. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Everything just changed. I'm just, I just added the photos. Hold on. I'm live. Here we go. Um, I'm just calling it a gold robe. And again, guys, I don't take any offense to offers. Um, I think what's great about offers is that it shows us as the sellers um, based on our asking price, what the comfortable is, I'm sorry, what the customer is comfortable paying. Alrighty, so... This is exactly the price that I bought it for. Just FYI, I bought this one from a from a live seller, but that doesn't mean I'm not willing um, to take offers. So let's carry on with a few more. Actually, let's let's do some giveaways. I have 15 of you live, and all of my giveaways are for people that follow me. So if you don't already follow me, you're not going to be able to enter the giveaway. But if you do follow me, it should give you the opportunity to enter the giveaway. My giveaways, I think here on whatnot, it's like five minutes. I usually do them at about three minutes. Mel is back. Um, and we have a few really good giveaways. Um, my last live sale, I split them up, but tonight we are going to do them all back to back, okay? So, our first giveaway, and the reason they're a giveaway is because they are clip-ons. These are rich auntie earrings. I also want to re remind you guys that you don't pay for shipping. I pay for shipping to you. So if you haven't purchased something tonight, do not fear. Shipping will be free. If you have purchased something tonight, I'm just going to add it to your package. Oh my God, these changed the whole vibe of my outfit and there's no entries yet guys i'm gonna hang tight until you guys figure out how to enter the giveaway because these are so incredible oh my god why why am i giving these away why am i not keeping these these are so good okay we have an entry yes we have an entry so we are giving away diana's back we are giving away these rich auntie clip-on earrings all right and I think I like this outfit better with my hair up. 
now that I'm like, I just want to wear my robe. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's actually, we have four entries. Let's show you guys up close and personal. Not marked to my knowledge, not marked, just great. And you know what? I'm going to say that these are comfortable and I have tried clip on earrings guys. These are good. These are good. Okay. Let's get up to seven entries before I shut it down. We have four entries. We have four entries. Four entries. Can we get a fifth entry? Okay. I think, I think we've maxed out at four entries. So on the count of three, I'm going to draw a winner. Okay. One, two, three. All right. I love this part. Oh, we have five entries now. Yes. Great cats. Great cats. Are you here? Let us know in the comments. You are the winner. You get free shipping of these rich auntie clip on earrings. Yes. And thank you so much for following me. You're welcome. Thank you so much for following me. Where are you from in the country? Let us know. Okay. So we have another giveaway that I'm obsessed with. Sag is still here. I'm so excited. Okay. So Christmas 2024 is around the corner. <laughs> it's coming up. So I am giving away these delightful handmade ice skate tree ornaments. Can we talk about it? Are these just not the cute? I want them to be earrings so badly, but it's a Christmas tree ornament. They're actually initialed B P H M W D. They're like nice and cold. Definitely made from clay. So cute. Christmas 2024 around the corner. I know this is the most random giveaway. You're from New York City or, or state. So we have zero entries so far, which I don't know. Maybe I should keep them. No one's, no one's entering to win. Queens. Oh my God. Love me some queens. Love me some Queens. I'll be in Williamsburg next weekend. And then again, what day am I going? 31st, 31st through 6th. I lived in Sunset Park before I moved. And East Harlem and Midwood. I never lived in Queens, but my dentist is in Astoria. I still haven't gotten a new dentist since I've been in Maryland. <laughs> Um, I actually went to like the same dentist in Astoria for like 12 years and then he retired and he moved me to another dentist in Astoria. <laughs> and the reason I went is because I live in East Harlem and because you're from New York, you understand it was really easy because I took the M60 bus. No one else gets it. Um, Anna Kate, good to see you. Okay, guys, we have four, um, four entries. I almost said entrees Four entrees. Five. Somebody, somebody gets the ice skates. Thank you guys. And thank you guys so much for following me. I have a feeling that you're actually following me and then entering. And that takes a little bit of time. So I'm about to, <laughs> I love her too. I'm about to draw the winner. Maybe Anna Kate will be getting, um, getting some, some freebies for me. Tressa, Teresa. Yes, Tressa, Tressa B. Or Tress. Hello, Tressa. Where are you from? Let me know in the comments. These are so cool. Like, I'm so excited for you. I, I'm so. Also, another idea is you can put them in your uh, windowsill on the part that like opens the window and let them hang down. And since it's winter, it's it's more than appropriate. So, West Virginia. So now that I'm in Baltimore, I want to uh, go hiking in West Virginia. It's so much closer. Um, West Virginia is a state I don't know very well. So that's so exciting. So exciting. Okay, guys, let's do another giveaway. And then um, we might move on to some sales here. 
And we are going to do some earrings. These are just fashion earrings, but you know what? Again, I just feel like if you need a pair of gold hoops, now is your time. And they are four pierced ears and they are in great condition, super shiny. And I like them because they're open like this. Um, and by, by open, I mean, they're not like a hundred percent closed. Right. So, and they're nice and light as well. And my, my last giveaways, I did some heavier things, which was fine. Um, because most of my winners actually purchased things, but this, time around i was like let me just let people enter the giveaway and not feeling like bad that i'm paying for the shipping so these will be you know in a very small envelope sent to you so if you guys are ever interested in selling um on whatnot what i hear is that giveaways are great to grow your following so every single live sale i will have giveaways so if you just show up for the giveaways totally fine with me i have a lot of inventory that i actually don't sell and so it's nice to know that it's going to a happy home instead of just to some other donation center. And I don't know what they're doing it, doing with it. Okay, guys, we have three entries, three entries. I'm going to wrap this up in about 10 seconds. Amber is in the house. I think my friend Elaine just said, just popped in. I hope she's still here. Hi, Elaine. Um, Jen and I just committed to coming up to New York together. So she told me that you're on her like must see list. So hopefully I will see you too. And I hope you are so well. Okay. Four entries. We're, we're going to draw that winner in three seconds. And K Marie got them. <laughs> Congratulations, K Marie. You have the gold hoop earrings of your dreams. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. You know, I, I want to do one more giveaway. And those of you that know me know that like I used to be obsessed with berets. And this is the most classic black beret ever. It is perfect. And we are, are going we are going to give this one away tonight. So so yeah, perfect black beret. I also have this one on auction. So once I wrap this one, we will do this bonafide vintage one on auction. But for now, this one is free. So if you have if you have ever wanted just a black beret, whether you plan on wearing it here in the US or in some other context, because berets are very French. Okay, this one doesn't have a label on the inside. But sometimes, like this exact style, they're often made in South Africa. I've seen that tag many times. Yes, we have three entries. What I also like to do with berets, guys, and this one will be on auction tonight, is I like to take my vintage brooches and decorate the beret. Because when, like, look, brooches are great on blazers and all these other things. But like when you put it on a hat, it just like jazzes it up. So here, I'll, sh I'll show you guys. So you, you, you take it and you can adjust the size in so many ways, but if you put it like right, he actually like right here, and that's like bam in your face. Okay. We have four entries and I see some new viewers. Hello, Hannah. Hi, can can. All right, let's draw a winner. And here we go. You got it. K Marie. <laughs> See, we need more people entering and I want to thank all of you guys for entering. I so appreciate you. Um, because statistically like the chances of winning are very, very high. So K Marie, you have a new, ber a new beret, a new beret. Okay, guys, <laughs> this has been a blast. Let's do the beret that I have on auction. I believe it's on auction. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is definitely vintage. I mean, the quality is so much better than that black one. 
um, which is just more like a mass produced. You can see just like the stitching on this one and it is covered in faux pearls. It is the cutest little thing. It is a pink purple. I can't say it's 100% pink. I can't say it's 100% purple, okay? Is this not the cutest thing? Oh, it's for your sister-in-law. Awesome. Yes. So this is not the cutest thing ever. Look at this. I'm going to start the auction. We're going to keep it moving. I've been a chatty Kathy tonight. I need to keep it moving. All right, guys, this one is a starting bid of $10. And again, with a beret. Hi, baby. Do you want to say hi? To you. No. Do you want to say I'm hi? I'm asleep. No. I can't get to you. The mannequin's in the way. Can I kiss? Yeah. Mwah. <laughs> Love you, baby. All right, my, my boyfriend just came in to say goodnight. K Marie says hi. <laughs> he says hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, I don't think I don't think there were any takers um, on the bray. <clears throat> we will keep it moving. Let's do a few more auctions and cruise through those. So this is a Vera Bradley. So cute. Vera Bradley, absolutely one of those um, brands of the uh, 2000s that everyone had to have. Remember, they were like the big oversized bags that you could just put your whole life in. Um, <laughs> thank, thank you, Kamri. Um, I, I am I am very happy with, with my boyfriend. Those of you that know me, I've had many boyfriends. Very happy. <laughs> like the happiest I've ever been. So, woo. Anyway, um, this is... It has like a flat bottom here and I wish, you know, I probably should have stuffed this one so that you guys could really see. I'm going to put these guys in here so that you guys can see the shape a little bit more. Might as well put my measuring tape. There we go. It's so cute. I'm going to start this auction because it's just a $10, $10 quickie. What I will say is that it does not have like some sort of enclosure on the top. It is an open top but it has a side zipper for you to put your important things and then another side zipper for you to put your important things. And then it is branded Vera Bradley on the zipper. So freaking cute. And it has little birdies, little birdies on it. All right, that timer is running out. We'll put her back. So, couple more auctions and then all of these amazing buy and nows that I have to share with you. This is, someone actually marked this, which I love about whatnot. I had no idea that you could do that. So it is, um, I'm going to say a curved white bangle. Very mod, very um, late 60s. This one is just a $5 starting auction just a nice little quickie to add to your jewelry wardrobe i sold a bunch of bangles last week i had these clear ones and i had wooden ones and oh my god they were amazing because i wore them all on one side and all all on the other hello twin blues mama and mer mermzy i'm having difficulty pronouncing everyone's name, but I am going to try my hardest. Okay. That one just expired. We can bring that one back on stage if the interested person returns. Okay, guys. So this is just a lace sort of, it's like, I would say really for the pool, but any girl who's into fashion knows you can just throw a lace thing on over anything and call it an outfit. Now this is labeled a size small, but it is oversized, so it will fit up to a medium. You guys can see contextually how that um, fits on my body. And the lace is um, in the design of rosettes. So this will be, I believe I have this one on auction. Yeah, we're going to start this auction. Again, labeled a size small, but contextually, and I keep saying contextually, but um conceptually maybe if that's the, that's the right word um it appears to be a medium um if you're wearing it as a top absolutely that one i ran on auction and it is still available yes ma'am okay this one's going to expire 
Again, guys, if you're new, and I always feel like I'm kind of a broken record, but if you're new and there's something you see that hasn't sold the way that uh, Twin Twin Blues Mama just commented, please ask and you shall receive. And Twin Twins Blue Mama, what is your name? Nice to meet you. I like your photo. I'm pretty sure you mean this one, right? Michelle. Oh, gosh. That would be so amazing if I did, Kay Marie. You know exactly what you mean. Um, I still have the Sarah Coventry, Coventry and the Opal. I think you were here for that, though. Okay, so Michelle, we are going to bring this one back on auction. And anyone else who wants to jump in, please. Okay, boom shakalaka, here we go. Thank you so much for asking about this one. I'm obsessed with this necklace. What I did say earlier is that it has no markings. So there's like no hallmarks on it. I don't know who the designer is basically, but it feels high quality. And it does have a um, lobster clasp. So I'm guessing this one is a little bit more modern. And I believe that you already grabbed it for $10. Michelle, thank you so, so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. I just put that over in my win pile. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so Camry asked about rings, guys. You may or may not have seen these. I keep dropping stuff tonight. Um, oh, I do have this ring lot that I didn't show yet. So this is a fashion ring lot that I will run an auction on. And then unsold, we have a sterling silver with an opal. Cannot believe that didn't sell. We have a Sarah Coventry grape ring. Yes, these are <laughs> grapes. I can't. And then we have a gold metal plated, not real gold, but gold thumb ring. So these are all auctions. If you're interested in any of them, I'll bring the fashion one. Yeah, size on opal. So I'm using my fingers. So I'm a size seven and it fits me as a size seven. I mean, you could argue maybe it's a seven and a half, a little bit loose. Fits my middle finger a little bit tighter. Urgh. So Michelle, I love that you're saying run. So like the way that I was on myself, like the word run, I was like, wait, does she mean like I should be running? I'm like, oh, she wants me to run. She wants me to like turn on the auction. I love it. Thank you. Okay. So this is running, baby. This one is running. So I didn't show you, but it is Mark Sterling on the inside. It's very hard to see, but this is Sterling silver. And this is a big, bad opal. Look at that bad boy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Kay Marie, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Miss Moy, it's about a size seven. I'm a seven ring. It's a little bit loose. So maybe it's a seven and a half. But it's about a size seven. Okay, Michelle got it for 11 freaking dollars. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle, you have a nice little pile forming over here. Okay, Mary, that's so funny that you also thought the same thing. I was like, run. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Like, he was behind me. I was like, wait, what? You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys. Oh my God. I love that. We're all just like laughing. I'm the most random person on a live sale. Um, usually when I'm more focused, I do better. I need to learn to be, to be more focused, but, um, all right. I'm ta I'm taking a look at some auctions that I haven't uh, brought to stage yet. So this is a bracelet that is multi-layered. Um, it's just like kind of one of those funky sort of boho bracelets. Actually, I think Anna Kate would like this. Okay, Marie. And I'm going to throw this one on really fast just so you guys can see the vibe. And actually it's a little twisted here so that you guys can see the vibe. I'm not going to put it on completely, but there we go. Boom. There we go. All right, I'm gonna start this auction. That's a $10 starting starting auction. We have a couple different types of stones here. I mean, they're faux stones. 
costume jewelry. This one's really nice and cold against my skin, which I like. And then here is our clasp. It is a fold over clasp. You guys can see that and boom, there we go. There is our bracelet. Okay. Yes, Miss Moy, absolutely. Okay, so this one just ran out. Gold ring, <clears throat> gold ring. And I still have the watches, guys. And the Sarah Coventry. Okay, so by gold ring, this is not marked 14 karat. Um, there's nothing, I mean, I'm double checking. Nope. So it's not marked 14 karat, but it is, you can see that this guy is special. And I feel, I feel like this is like a, a piece of men's costume jewelry. For me, it fits my thumb. So if you compare it to my size seven finger, this looks to be about a size nine ring. You guys see that? I'm going to start the auction and it's a little bit better on my middle finger and it is actually pretty fine on my index finger right that's or is this my pointer finger i think this is my pointer finger this is my index this is my pointer finger yeah so yeah it's it's a good one okay cool thanks miss moy thank you so much and hello to our new viewers welcome welcome my name is sammy davis and I am behind Vintage, Bo Vintage Boss Faves, which is a uh, buy sell community also on Facebook. So if you guys go on Facebook, if you're on Facebook and type in Vintage Boss Faves, uh, that community will come up and we buy and sell all day long and host live sales on Facebook. So Miss Moy, congratulations. I'm gonna put this somewhere safe so that I don't lose it. And we have another set of rings. These are just fashion rings. Um, and by fashion rings, I mean, they're, they're very modern, but they're fun. And I should have uploaded them. I hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Sometimes like in my head, I'm like, oh, I uploaded it. And then I go live and it's, it's not there. So we will demonstrate. These are a little bit bigger. So Miss Moy, if you are looking for bigger rings, I'm about to show you guys. Um, Cause they're all too big for me except for this one. This is a double finger, boom. And then we have these two, but they are loose on me. Now, your next question is probably like, are they adjustable? I'm not seeing that either of them are adjustable. So these are probably both about a size, I'm gonna guess about a size nine, nine ring. Okay, so I'm gonna start this auction. I just put $5 on it because they are fashion rings, but they are cute and they're actually not too shabby in terms of how, how they were made. I really like this one. Vivita, Mama Kate, Mama Cat. Thank you guys so much for being here. Okay. We have seven seconds, six seconds. Maybe I'll throw these in uh, with someone's order as freebies if they do not sell tonight. So let's do, let's do some um, buy it now. Hi, Wilda. Wilda's back. Let's do some buy it now. So again, guys, all of my buy it now is our best offer. Um, I do not want you to ever feel like, oh, that's inappropriate of me, uh, inappropriate of me to send her an offer. Wait, where did I put it? I have two red bags. Okay. So I've actually never shown this on a live before. This is a Alexander Wang leather fold over clutch. It stores so much. Like, first of all, can look at this. Holy shenanigans. How big that is. I'm putting my hand in it. Look, look. You can put all your papers in there. A gazillion phones. This one was for sale on the real real. At one point, I bought her at a resale shop, so it wasn't me that put her on the real real. Here is our Alexander Wang um, logo on the inside, and we have another inside pocket, and then we have the back pocket. So we have one, 
We have the oversized main pocket, two. We have the inner pocket, three, and then four, this open pouch pocket. This leather is in such great condition. You guys can see it's worn away a little bit down there. And maybe here you can see it's more smooth. That's probably from just putting it down on the table. But when, oh God, if you guys could feel this, the zippers, amazing. And just overall, this is a great, I need to have more space than a clutch clutch. This is a magnetic closure. So it closes really nicely. This is what I would I think is called an envelope clutch. Um, just because it is like an oversized envelope. So this one is 85 or best offer. And she is delightful. All right. Now our next bag, because I'm going to show you guys all the bags that I have, um, is actually, where did I put it? There it is. It's actually far below the current uh, comps on eBay. This is a pretty popular bag. This is the Christie. And from my research, this is the color called tangerine. To me, it looks more like a salmon pink, but that's what people have been calling it is a tangerine. So it's a mix of like a pink and an orange, like a light orange. Maybe it's more like a sherbet, sherbet color. But this is that classic coach monogram print. And it is in near perfect secondhand condition. And I have this one for you guys at $95. I have it listed on my eBay for $150. And I have seen it sold on eBay, but that was brand new. So brand new with like all of the plastic and blah, blah, blah for about $250. The um, MSRP of these bags is closer to $500. So let's do a little tour after I show you guys what it looks like on my shoulder. It's just a great, like, I'm going out, going to the grocery store. Um, I'm going on a long weekend and I need a bag that has a ton of space. I mean, Coach has, it has just come back with like a vengeance. It's almost, it's almost like Coach is like, y'all forgot about me for 15 years. Now I'm everywhere, especially Vintage Coach. Vintage Coach um, can resell for really good money. So let's do a quick tour, beginning with the outside. We have the Coach, um, I'm so sorry, um, I am blanking on this name. I guess Keychain um, is the, uh, the best term for it. And then we have an outside pocket. And I'm going to put my hand in there so you guys can see the depth. And I almost want to call this even like a charm. It's like a little charm, but you could put it on a keychain. Anyway, now we have a right and a left opening, which uh, snaps shut. And then we have a zippered inside. So the zippered inside, again, super handy. So you can keep sti uh, sticky fingers out of your bag. And... We're going to zip it like that and then snap it shut. And our uh, bottom is mint condition. You often see that this has really had some action, right? Um, but she just appears as if someone took the price tag off of her, wore her once, and then she landed at a resale shop in New York City. So she is 95 or best offer, guys. Also, the hardware has all of the coach branding on it. Next up, we have a, oh God, I love this, I love this bag so much. Luana, Italy. And Luana is spelled L-U-A-N-A. -A, and I will bring her to stage so that you can see. She is such a gorgeous crossbody cherry red bag. This is another bag that I probably really should have stuffed before showing you guys. And actually, I thought that I could pull that 
through here, but I can't. So this is almost like a barbell um, piece of hardware decor. But we have a extra large opening, which will hold your cell phone. And then we have an inner pocket and then another inner pocket for like your credit cards or business cards. And then we snap shut on the front, but there's no back pocket. It is sort of like a embossed leather or I'm sorry, maybe pebble leather is a, is a better phrase for it. Here it says Luana, Italy. And then this is what I like to call a, um, a table bag because of the metal hardware. You can put this one down on a table quite easily. So let me show you guys. This is how you would obviously hold her as a handheld, as a crossbody. She's a little bit long on me. She is adjustable. And I want to say that she has the smallest. Yeah, I think she's on the smallest right now but she can easily have her straps removed so that she becomes a handheld. Oh my God, she's so great. I love her. I love her so much. Now the hardware, um, because this is a second hand bag, the hardware, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not in perfect condition. So I like to point that out. You guys can see there visually. This bag would have been into probably the five, six, seven hundreds. I've seen it for sale. I haven't seen the original price. However, I wanna say this bag is probably three or four years old from the uh, Luana Italy collection. Um, but again, she's $95 or best offer, which I love saying that, best offer. I don't see any comments. I know I'm losing some viewers. Please stay with me. If there's something that I have not shown that you would like to see, I can't believe it. I always do these live sales and I feel like, like where, where does the time go? Like where does like, what, where does the time go? I'm such a chatty Kathy. I still have yet to do the uh, YSL garment bag that I have hanging here. Um, I will get to that unless someone wants to see that earlier. But what I will proceed to do is show you, I have two more bags um, that are available that are both coach. And then I'm going to move on uh, to some of my clothing. Okay. So this is, bring this one to stage. This is the cutest little, just like mini backpack. And where is it? Sorry guys, did I not add it? Um, from shop. Interesting. I don't know where this one went. Do you guys see this one in my marketplace? Sorry. New seller alert. I am... Hmm. So I think what confuses me a little bit is that I thought that I had added everything, but it seems like I didn't. Like, did I add the scarves and the trench and the Britney Spears? It's hard for me to know because they're all still here. Hmm. Here's the buy it now. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I didn't put the backpack. I am very lost, guys. So I'm not going to show the backpack because I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> I don't see it anywhere. Um, so what I will do is just move on to what I can find behind the scenes. Thank you guys for sticking with me. So we only have nine live viewers. Um, and so doing auctions, I'm going to run them um, if someone requests. But what I want to do now is showcase a few more of the clothing items. So obsessed with this coat. It looks vintage. It actually is a modern brand. 
But guys, this thing is reversible. And by reversible, like it's reversible in my head. You can reverse it. You just can't button the buttons once you reverse it. But all you have to do is reverse. And this fits approximately a size medium. I'm going to put her on for you guys so that you can see. But voila, look at that. She's pink. And the only thing is that we have the label up here, but if you fold over that collar, you can't even see it. But again, the buttons um, are a little bit more difficult to button. I mean, you could, it's just that the buttons are on the inside. So let me throw her on for you guys. She's 45 or best offer. And this is the side without the pockets. This is technically the inside lining. And I just love this just to throw on with jeans and you just feel like you have something bright and fun on. And this is the normal side, which, uh, sorry, I'm getting my, getting my sleeve here, normal side. Okay. And this side has cloth, co cloth covered buttons so that you can button that shut, shut which I, I won't bother doing, but we also have pockets. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this one. It reminds me of a designer that um, is called Alex of Bohemia that I was finding a ton of um, in the summer and the spring. Um, that is, it's a uh, cotton brand. Like everything is made of cotton in New York very, very high end, like a lot of money if you buy it new. Um, and some of the Alex of Bohemia prints were sort of seventies inspired like this. So again, this one is $45 or best offer. Okay. I can't try everything on for you guys, but I am going to roll through the things that I can. I love this thing. This is a furry purple, purple guy. Oh yes. Love how cropped this is. For anyone who is a Swifty, this is great for a Taylor Swift uh, concert. I know that wearing lavender was one of the ways to show your allegiance. And this one, Again, I always think that if it fits me, it's a size medium, but I'm going to say it's a little bit more like a medium because it's, it's a little tight in the arms. And the other thing to note is that we have these hanging crystals. They really, really blend in with the faux fur, but we have almost like a little bit of like a Western flair going on with this one. And then we have an ombre vibe with the sleeves. So it becomes light purple and then um, a blue again, but the back of it is purple. And I will bring this one a little bit closer so that you guys can see. And it has this really, really beautiful purple lining on the inside. And then you guys can see those like fringe crystal tassels. All right, guys, I will get through two more items. I'm losing viewers fast. So instead of talking to myself, I will do two more items. Thank you guys so much for those of you that have stuck around for being here. Um, I so appreciate you getting my feet wet here. Um, uh, I am tired. Getting my feet wet here on whatnot, um, as in I'm dipping my feet into the water. So I'm learning a lot as I go. And I'm really looking forward to growing here and showing you guys just some like really awesome stuff. And <laughs> thank you, Kay Marie. I just, I feel like I'm like, you know what? <laughs> if people can't shop the replay, I'm like, if I don't have a lot of live viewers, I'm like, eh. So in my Facebook community, guys, you can shop the replay and it makes things like really nice because if you don't have people that are on because they have life. Like it's a Friday night. People have life. Right. And I don't expect people, I don't expect everyone to be on, 
but it's a lot easier on Facebook because people can shop the replay. Okay. Holy shnikes. Let's talk about this. This is perhaps a piece that you know someone, you know someone in your life and they need it and they need it. So this photo, if you check, if you check it out in the marketplace, um, the photo is me wearing it um, in like a modeling situation. But this is actually a Harley Davidson PVC motorcycle bike, a motorcycle jacket, like a riding jacket. So you would be riding your Harley wearing this jacket. Now for the rest of us that are just into fashion, it's a great fashion piece. Harley Davidson clothing has made such a comeback. Um, and it is just kind of like a legendary piece. Honestly, it's also very functional um, because it's PVC. It's a raincoat. Um, so a lot of raincoats are PVC material and we do have a great front zipper and we have pockets, which are here. They are like not back here. They're a little bit more in the front. The other thing is that you can take these toggles and you can make it tighter along the bottom. So it is a XL, but it is definitely adjustable for a variety of sizes. Oh shoot. I just, well, it still works. I feel like I broke part of the toggle, but I don't think I did. I feel like that was an extra piece of material. Where did that come from? Yeah, every, everything seems fine. Okay, so I made it a little bit tighter. Sorry, guys. I'm discovering this garment. There, there's like a lot to it. And we have that great Harley Davidson logo on the back. This is one I can't wait to put on eBay. if They don't sell this straight to client. Um, because I feel like there's someone out there in the world that's like, oh, my God, when they find this on eBay. Now, here's the inside. And you can see that great Harley logo. And if you guys have a chance to head over to the marketplace, you can see how I styled it. So I definitely wore some Daisy Dukes. I had some gold shorts on and sort of wore this as like the oversized cover up. So this is a great piece for spring, summer. If you are comfortable wearing a crop top and maybe some like low rise jeans, and then you throw this on over, you don't have to own a motorcycle to wear this coat. Um, it's absolutely like a really fun streetwear functional piece. So speaking of streetwear, the next thing that I want to show you guys is pretty brilliant. It is a Coors Light branded denim shirt. Yes. Let me know in the comments. I know there's only eight of us here. If uh, you or a family member are a Coors Light drinker. Um, again, as a streetwear piece, like these have just become like anything branded with, with alcohol that's older has just become like such a collector's item. This one is also labeled a XL and fits like an XL. But again, how I would suggest that any of us wear it, those of us that are here on whatnot is like a shacket, right? So, or you would wear it over oversized with maybe oversized denim as well. Like there's a lot of ways that you can st stylize this. You don't even have to wear it so that it's sexy, but of course you can always kind of do something like this, which I don't know if I really like how that looks. I like, I like it oversized or I would do like a French cuff maybe, but it is such a nice soft denim. And let me bring this one uh, so that it's pinned in front of your face. Yes, there we go. So this one is $40 or best offer. And let me show you guys the buttons. And an even, like, oh my God, you can snap the collar shut here. How, like, the details of this are awesome. This, like, it's just great. It's thank you, Coors, for making quality clothing. Um, there's no marks, no tears, no stains. It's in ex excellent condition. It's got a nice shoulder drop as well for that oversized vibe. Pow, Coors Light. Haven't had a Coors Light for a long time. I am a IPA drinker. Um, but 
but, 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 but as a piece of fashion, it is excellent. Okay, guys, let's do one more because you guys are here and I'm happy and I appreciate you being here. Let's do the YSL bag. The YSL bag. I just feel like I had, I had to whisper that. This just came into my possession. Um, I have shopped it to a few people. So I have a lot of like one-on-one -on -one client relationships. Um, no bites. She is absolutely open to offers. Okay, guys. So this is technically a garment bag, but I want you to know you don't have to use it as a garment bag, but we are going to take a look on the inside. It does have removable straps so that you can wear it on your shoulder, but I'm going to put these straps down for now all of the d the, uh, all of the details and the leather trim are just delicious um let me show you it's backwards but ysl there's a couple of these online if you guys want to run some comps um something just fell and i don't know what it was um there is our logo interior lining and we even have the original hanger. And we have another little hanger guy. I think this is so that it could hang up like this. And on the other side, hold on. I'm going to open this up all the way. On the other side, oh, that one just fell out. Yeah, okay, that's why because there, there were two and this one stayed. Okay. And then we also have another one that comes with it. How freaking cool is that? So I just have to make sure that I can affix these here, which it looks like, Oh, that's so interesting. Guys, we are disco discovering this together. I just figured it out. Oh my God. That is so awesome. There, I just did it. Wow. That is crazy. So this one was made in Korea. Um, so this is going to be in 1980s because uh, this is before Korea became North and South Korea. And I want to show you guys the pool, the pools on the zipper. Each say YSL. Hi, Jen. Welcome back. And, you know, I just realized that there's like show notes. Oh gosh, I have to figure this out. Hi. I'm, I'm still learning guys. Um, oh my God. The Britney Spears CD. Absolutely freaking lootly. Yes. Yes. We're doing that. Okay. So before I put her to bed, I want you guys to know that this is a, gar a garment bag. Um, but we do have some great zippers and some other ways to attach clothing and I say zippers, I'm sorry, but like pockets and then whew, we have that strap so that she can become a crossbody bag, which would be really unique, but these straps are long enough so that you could easily hold her like this. What I want to point out, the front is great. No markings, no flaws. The front is great. Um, it's the back. And I took some soap and water to this and it did not want to remove. You might have a better idea, but this is the imperfection of the bag. The other side is in great condition. The leather is in great condition. Uh, the bottom is in great condition. I'd say maybe the front, like... Here's something I probably should have showed you guys. It has like kind of like a nice little swipe mark here, but nothing like noticeable on the front and the bag, the way that it is on the back of the bag. So I would love an offer. Um, this will be shipped in an extra large box. So there will be a additional shipping fee. So definitely keep that in mind when you're making me an offer. Um, send it to someone who is a Yves Saint Laurent uh, collector. This is a great price for a vintage piece of fashion history that 
while it's a garbage bag, I argue, especially with these front pockets, like this is, I mean, it's a weekend bag. Honestly, it's a weekend bag. It's not a garment bag. This is a piece of luggage for the weekend. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. And thank you, Deborah, so much. Learning as I go. So, and coupons, I did not know that I could activate. Is that something I can activate or is that something that's like special? so that I can activate coupons. I need to shop a show so that I can actually kind of see what other people are doing. Okay, the Britney Spears CD. This came through um, with one of the one of the deliveries of goods from one of my clients. And I'm just like, oh my God, you threw this in here for what reason? And then I was thinking to myself, no, because this looks original. I didn't do that much research, but I remember this CD because I was 11 when Britney Spears hit the seat. Actually, I think I was 12 when she hit the scene and I definitely had the CD. So let's talk about it. She is an auction starting at $5. I would love to give her away. Here's the thing, guys. I haven't listened to it. There might be a ton of scratches. Um, so we will take a, take a look at it together but it is a great collector's item because it also has the liner notes and in the liner notes, there is a bonus. Okay. Everybody remember the liner notes with the poster of Britney Spears. I know how amazing. So I remember from the bottom of my broken heart track six. That was such a good track. That wasn't a single. That was like a B side track 10 email my heart. That was a real thing. <laughs> that was a real thing. Your heart was being emailed back in the day. I experienced it. Okay, guys. So Based on all of that, I mean, I'm assuming that, that, that this is original, but I can't be sure. It does say copyright 1996 drive in the back. I'm going to show you guys that really fast. And I know I'm talking about this like so much. Let me see. No, copyright 1999. That's right. It would have been 1999 or 1998. So, and it says that. All the way down here. Anyway, I'm going to start this auction. I would love for someone to add this to their CD collection. Um, I'm sure that CDs in the future will have value. This is a enhanced CD. So if you pop this into your computer, something probably happens. And I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's some sort of bonus. Um, oh my God, it's so great. I don't see any bids yet. Oh, yes, there is a bid. Oh, my God. eBaby. eBaby2131. What's your name? E uh, what's your name? Sounds so strange. What's, what's your name, eBaby? Tell me where you're from. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm, like, losing my voice. Mm, Elise. Nice to meet you, Elise. Um. Thank you so much. Gosh, I am getting like so tired all of a sudden. We have, we have 15 more viewers. So you know what? I am going to keep going. I am tired, but I have a few more goodies that were auctions that I forgot about. And we are about to uh, rock and roll through a few of these because that's how we do. That's how we do here on whatnot. This is a 100% cashmere scarf. Beautiful colors, no label. Uh, this is not like a label that you would want to write home about. Actually, I'm so sorry. There is a label, but it's not really a label you would want to write home about. It's a Louisa Perini cashmere made in China. Okay. It's just nice and fresh. This one was in a box. I took it out of the box um, so that it would be easier for me to show it to you, but this one has not been worn. This is a starting bid of $10. And I will show you guys how thick that is. This is a great addition to any winter wardrobe, especially here in the Northeast. We just had like 
six inches of snow here in Maryland. Yeah, this one's very pretty. Love a scarf. Love a scarf. And I don't see any bids yet, but have no fear. There are more scarves for me to show you guys. I have a ton more. I actually have two more. Okay, that one just expired. I have some vintage scarves. And I have three vintage scarves. So number one, a little bit of a Southwest vibe. This is the same, I think it's the same design. It's the same company, but in a different colorway. And then we have this great wool scarf. So this one is acrylic. This one is acrylic and this one is wool, W-O-O-L. So let's do the wool scarf first. And if you guys are in a cold area of the country, please let me know. I'm in Mexico until April. Oh my God, good for you. Yes. Okay, let me see here. Where is... And Deborah, which area of uh, Mexico are you staying? Okay, so I just started the auction on this one, guys. So here's our label. This one was made in the UK. Made in Great Britain. 100% wool. This one appears to be unworn as well. This one looks pretty spanking new. Very fresh. No pilling. Actually, if I see that something... If it's vintage and it really, really looks like it's been worn, I just don't even bother selling it, no matter how cool it is. Okay, no one grabbed this one. And that was just a $5 starting bid. I forgot about that. I made this one $5. Okay, I don't know if you guys want scarves, but we are going to just roll through them. This is a real vintage label on this one. I will show you guys. Yeah, there we go. There is our label, 100% acrylic on this one. This one has really nice Southwest vibes. And by Southwest, I mean the print, not necessarily the article of clothing. So you guys can see how that pattern uh, lays on the body. Throw it over. We have a great fringe detail. We also have the same scarf in a purple, which I will get to. This one's acrylic, so it's soft. Wool can be very scratchy. A lot of people don't like that fabric. So this one was also $5. And no takers. No takers. I am surprised. I will post these in my Facebook group. Guys, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, Vintage and Lux Boss Babes, or Vintage Boss Babes on Facebook, that's my buy sell community um, of vintage and designer. And so we'll run this one and see now I'm using that, that word run. <laughs> I was joking earlier because, um, Michelle commented run and I was like, what do you mean run? Like, is there something behind me? But now I get it. It's running the auction. So guys, this is the same brand as the other one. Um, different colorway. Um, I think it's the same design or, or almost the same design. This one is so soft. Another $5 starting bid. I was just trying to move these out, but no takers tonight. Well, let's look at some other cold weather items or at least colder weather like this trench. I have this trench um, on auction starting at $15. And you know what? One of my faux pas tonight might have been that this should be just a little bit higher with a little bit more of a bend. Do you guys like that better so that you can see the items a little bit better on me? So, um, someone let me know in the comments. Hi, Jen. I think that's you, East York Vintage. Hello, hello. And yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. And someone said that they were interested. So I'm going to run this auction. Hopefully they're here. This is going to best fit up to about a size 12. I'm a size six. It fits me great. There's the back. And the buttons on this are absolutely amazing. So I have that collar folded over, but you can actually really protect your neck quite well here. 
with the buttons. And if someone wants me to rerun this because they missed it, let me know. No one bid on this one. I will actually just rerun it again. We're going to do this one one more time. So this one buttons all the way down. We do have shoulder pads that you'd have to sew, um, you'd have to remove them and then sew it to actually get rid of them. But it's nice and soft, this one. And we've got nice deep pockets and actually some bonus original buttons, which shows me that most likely this trench was not worn. All right, that one just ran through, still available. Still available. So Sandra Babe, oh my God, what a great question. I have sold Kids Vintage, but I don't sell it to client. Um, is that a market here on Whatnot? Because if it is, I can certainly get some for you. Um, I sold, gosh, there's, there's a designer, what's her name? Um, Whew, I'm liking on her name. She makes a lot of her stuff in, in Peru. Um, I sold a bunch of her stuff. Something Anderson. Somebody help me. Something something Anderson. I had a ton of her stuff. Oh, it's so neat seeing kids vintage. It is really neat. It is. And I mean, it, it's, it's, it is harder to find because a, a lot of that stuff was like trashed, you know, like it just didn't, just, it didn't stand the test of time. People didn't hoard kids vintage the same way they they hoard their their actual wardrobe um okay guys let me know if you like this angle i am still this is a brand new tripod so i'm like figuring things out also this is a coos two-piece outfit it is for sale it is in my marketplace um so you guys can see how this is lying on me the one thing that i'm realizing is i do need to tie this a little bit tighter because I'm moving around so much that it likes to slide. It's absolutely stunning. Look at the pockets. You can actually get um, Coos sewing patterns. And I saw the sewing pattern for the skirt on eBay. So you can, you can make his clothes at home. Um, hello, Khan. All right, what else have we not covered here? Uh, the Pendleton, which I'm pretty sure I have behind um, behind the scenes here. Let's see, Jessica Simpson, I still have the Levi's. Yes, here we go. Okay, so this is a wool blazer and it's a navy. I think you guys can pretty clearly see that. We have a little bit of a shoulder pad. I will put this one on, on for you guys. Pendleton, American Classic, 46 long because this was a men's blazer. But what's so great about these vintage men's blaz blazers and even modern is that they will fit a variety of sizes. What I want to point out for you is that we do have a little bit of paint, I believe, on the inside. I did not take soap and water to it but it is on the inside. Now, what I want to point out to you guys is that the buttons of this, killer, okay? These are buttons of royalty. I hope you guys can see those. Yeah, there we go. And then we have two buttons down here. Yeah, you can see those buttons. Look at those bad boys. So we have three and, oh, shoot. Looks like I lost one and I didn't realize it. Okay, we're missing a button over here. So this is as is. I did not even realize that until just now. Oh man, I'm sorry guys. So two, three, and two. I will button this and we will run this auction. So this is a $15 starting bid. Oh yes. And we have pockets. And we have pockets, a great slit in the back. Okay, I'm wondering if that button fell off somewhere. Because I don't, I don't think I was, I don't think I had lost it before. All right, guys, that's okay. We will let that one run. I will probably take that to a buy, sell, trade store um, and get some better stuff in the future. Okay. 
So, everyone deserves a vintage snowsuit, and we are going to change this so that you can see it better. Oh my God. This one fits me great. Um, it's about a size six, size eight. It's by a brand called Marker, and it's labeled a size eight. This is probably a 90s or 2000s snowsuit for skiing. Um, it's not super vintage. Um, a lot of people like the really super vintage looking ones, like especially the 1970s and 1980s. But if you guys go to the marketplace, it's just a photo of me wearing it because I didn't get a chance to actually photograph it. And it's just, it just pops. Like it's, and it's nice because it's like a solid color. It's, it's excellent. So really quickly, um, I have washed this and I want to point out that there's a lot of details and I'm not someone who skis, so I'm not a hundred percent sure what all these details mean. Like I'm assuming that's like for your keys. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, there's also these like zippers along the bottom of the pant but you can't remove the bottom of the pant. So I'm assuming that's also where you can just like put your ID or some money or something. I'm, I'm just assuming I'm not a skier. There's um, pockets on either side that you can zip. And we've got a great long front zipper, perfect inside. We have a diagonal pocket along the sleeve. Oh my God, you could just like carry your whole life in this snowsuit. I will give you guys some measurements momentarily, but I'm going to reverse her for you so you can see the back. There may have been a belt at some point. I don't actually have the belt, um, which is a travesty. And we can zip the bottom or unzip the bottom. And we've got great snap buttons here um, for the sleeves. Now, she fits me. I'm about a size six and get my tape measurers in here. Um, and I'm five nine. So height wise, she's really good on me. So I will measure her top to bottom and the waist and the bust. And she is accepting offers now in my YSL bag. I'm going to let her be out of the spotlight so that we can focus on this bad boy. So the waist stretches guys, and it really actually stretches in a healthy way up to about a 34 waist lying flat. It is a 28 waist. So that's 28 to 34 stretched, but what's most important is that it's going to fit the rest of your body. So the hips are about up to a 40. So 40 hips and our bust, and I'm doing this all reverse, but it would be the same in the front. The bust is up to uh, about a 42 bust. Um, so even though the waist is up to a 34, proportionally, if the hips are up to a 40, I'm gonna say this is best, probably up to a 30 waist and probably up to about a 38, maybe, 40 bust if you consider yourself to be a little bit bustier because you can also keep this a little bit unzipped. I'm not selling this to wear this skiing. I'm selling this to wear it as an outfit. Now, especially because today in Baltimore and wherever you guys live, it was probably freezing. This is a great, like I'm guaranteed to be warm outfit and it's quite stylish. Um, I mean, you don't have to wear it with with like a heeled shoe, but I think especially because you can unzip it along the bottom, you can really like, again, just make this streetwear, wear like some sort of chunky boot, wear some knee high boots and like stick this in the boot at your knee and make it kind of puffy and just like, yeah, just reimagine what a snowsuit for a skier would be like wherever you live. 
Um, so I'm really obsessed. I'm really obsessed with this piece. Um, I didn't bring it to stage. Actually, um, I'm going to do that right now because you can find her in my marketplace. And yes, here she is. So you guys can see how she fits on me. And this is a like a, it's like an orange red, but I'm I'm going to say it's more of an orange. It swings more orange. Um. Oh my gosh, I've been talking for like two hours. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. I love that so many new viewers come in and out. I'm going to lower this. And ah, oh, yes. And make sure that this is straight. And. For those of you that um, tuned in later, my name is Sammy Davis, and I am the founder of Vintage Boss Babes, and I am also on all of the socials. So you can find me, Vintage Boss Babes, on Instagram, and my buy sell community on Facebook is also called Vintage Boss Babes, and my website is vintagebossbabes.com. Um, this is my second live sale here in Whatnot. Um, always such a joy learning more and more every day. I would say uh, tonight I probably could have moved a little bit faster. I always think I'm moving faster than I am. Um, so thank you to those of you that were patient with me. If there's something I didn't get to, um, you can always message me here and whatnot. I believe I might have to follow you back. I'm not hundred percent sure how that works. Um, but you can also find me on socials and then I will just sell it to you here and whatnot. Um, a few of you made comments about some pieces that I showed that you were interested in. So I will follow up with you um, and uh, have those items listed for you. I am going to be hosting another What Not Live sale at some point in February. I am going to New York City twice um, in the next like two weeks. So I probably won't have time to host a What Not Live sale until... I'm guesstimating about February 10th, but I will have so many goodies for you guys. And in the meantime, if you are interested in checking back, I will be posting things in my marketplace um, and you are always more than welcome to make me an offer. So without further ado, please follow me if you're not already following me so that you can be alerted to everything that's happening in my world um, and so that we can stay in touch and I can be a personal shopper for you and hopefully give you guys some love and light, um, on a Friday night. I hope that, I hope I'm funny, but you know, what? at the end of the day, <laughs> when you're talking to a room full of people, but they're not actually here, like it's kind of amazing the things that come out of your mouth. So, uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it again. Uh, thank you guys for uh, joining me tonight. I'm going to hop off. It is a, uh, 11 o'clock Eastern. And so I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> Okay, Marie, thank you. This is this is like my fangirl that I will eventually pay back for all of her support. Thank you so much, Kay Marie. Um, but uh, woo, feeling tired. Thank you guys again. Um, I've said thank you like five times uh, in the last five sentences. I will see you mid-February for another live sale here and whatnot. Mwah. Ciao for now.